Hello everyone! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's me again, Joy. So today's video, I'm gonna share to you the name of the company where I am working right now as well as I'm gonna share to you the seven steps the seven steps on how to apply in this ESL company where I am working. So, if you are interested, keep on watching. The name of the company where I am working is Preply. Okay, Preply. Yeah, you heard it right. P R E P L Y. I am working at Preply, is our company. Yeah, and I'm so happy that I was accepted in this company. Okay, I know that you are looking also for an ESL company wherein you could do your work or you could earn some money, of course, to support your family or your relatives or for yourself, something like that. Mm -hmm. So, this is perfect for you. Don't worry. I know that you are good in English. Like, unlike me, <laughs> you know what, to tell you frankly, I am not really good in English, but I am learning. Yeah, I am learning day by day because I personally believe that even though you are teaching, you are also learning. This is something like a give and take relationship from your student. Mm -hmm. You are teaching as well as you are learning. And it's so wonderful. It could be something like a wonderful journey of you. Mm -hmm. So, 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 I'm so excited for your journey. So, hopefully that you're going to learn something or you're going to be something like interested to apply this company. Watch the seven steps. Okay, are you ready? First, log in to preply.com. Okay, please open your website to Chrome and type preply.com and you're going to be redirected yeah here and you are going to see english tutors spanish tutors german tutors and just drag down okay drag down your cursor and you're going to see below this one become tutor okay click this one become a tutor are you done just click it <laughs> click become a tutor and then you're going to be directed here so just put your email as well as your password right take note your email should be active and you are using it because the company is going to contact you or is going to send you a notification about the result of your application and also they're going to send you something like confirmation okay it's really necessary to put your active email address here. Are you done writing it? And this will be your something like serve as your email and password in this platform. Okay, are you done? Okay, so after entering your email and your password, you're going to be redirected on this page which is you're going to see the seven steps. Number one about photo, certification, education, description, video, and availability. So just easy steps, right? Uh -huh. So the first one you can see about yourself. Just write your first name, your last name, as well as your email, your country of origin, and as well as your language spoken, English. And level it C2. C2 or you can put C1 or B2. It depends on your level. Mm -hmm. After C2 is native. Well, uh, I am not a native speaker. <laughs> so I just put C2. Okay, or professional. Right, are you done? So that would be the first step. And mm -hmm, the continuation of the first step here. Okay, you're going to put your hourly rate aha uh -huh. i just put five dollars because for new applicants new tutors the maximum hourly rate is five dollars for filipino applicants okay for filipino applicants okay but by the time you are accepted and you are already teaching like for one month or how many weeks you can change your hourly rate. Depends also on your level. If you are something like, um, if you are, what do you call this? <laughs> I forget the term. Mm, 
if you do believe that you are something like your ability, yeah, your ability deserves that kind of rate, and then why not change it? Okay, it's up to you. You are the one who controls your hourly rate. You can change it in no time. Yeah, every time you can change it. And you can put, I have formal teaching experience. I have no other commitments. And optional, putting your number, it, it would be something like optional. Okay? Right. And then just check, I confirm, I am 18 years old. I am over 18. Okay? You should be 18 years old above. All right, all right. Okay, and just click next and you're going to proceed to the step two right just easy uh-huh the step two you just need to upload photo okay this would be your profile photo so the profile photo that you're going to put should be something like professional of course because um of course just like you we are students before <laughs> it's something like uh we judge by the appearance <laughs> something like that so it's so important to put your professional photo and please follow the guidelines or the tips for an amazing photo okay here are smile and look at the camera frame your head and shoulders your photo is centered and upright use neutral lightning and background your face and eyes are fully visible except for religious reasons <laughs> Avoid logos or contact information. You are the only person in the photo. Yeah, it should be only you, nobody else. Okay, right, clear now. So after completing the profile photo, you can proceed to the next step. Just simple, right? Yeah, just click next. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, next. And yeah, step three. Step Step number three. <laughs> okay, are you ready? The step number three is your teaching certification. Teaching certification. So in my previous video, I told you about how to get your TFL certificate from teacher record. Yeah, you can get your TFL certificate from teacher record and it just for free you just need to follow and answer all the modules they provided all right so you can use it mm -hmm. you can use english language certificate you can put um tfl and also this one years of study and you can download your certificate by the way and anyway by the time you finish answering all the modules or by the time you get your um, certificate from teacher record you can download it in a pdf form and you can take a picture of it and then you can download it here yeah okay add another certificate you can download it here and just click next okay click next and you're going to be there something like you're going to be redirected to the fourth fourth step which is the education that you obtained, that you attained. Okay, just easy. Just put your university, something like Mountain View College, your degree, degree type, specialization, years of study, and as well as you can upload your diploma so that you're going to be verified. Mm -hmm. You can. Yeah, much better. This is something like plus points for you. Upload your diploma and then click next and after clicking the next you're going to proceed to the fifth step oh just so easy right just a piece of cake <laughs> so you are now in the fifth step and applying so here this would be your profile description yeah this is your profile description make sure that you're going to write or introduce yourself by the way in the profile description there are three boxes that you're going to see aside from the header this is something like um the header that you put this is the first thing aside from your profile photo first thing that your um students students can see on your profile 
okay the things that you're going to write in profile description are introduce yourself and share briefly about your interest you know that already and the second box describe your teaching experience certification and your methodology so it's all here and lastly motivate students to book a trial lesson with you yeah okay you can see mm, i can teach you with all this one blah 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 and why not try to book a lesson in my class something like book a lesson in my class now see you something like that then click next after clicking next you are now in the sixth step of your application which is the video introduction there will be no demo meaning no demo here okay no system check i mean unlike with the other company okay that you'll need to something like um undergo some system check something like demo lesson here you have video introduction so nice right working in this company it's so nice yeah and they are really not so something like Hmm, I really love this platform. Okay, so no, oh, sorry for the interruption. So video introduction here, you're just going to record your video. So these are the tips for a great video. Just follow the tips, okay? Keep your video between 30 seconds and two minutes long. So can you imagine just too short? Two minutes and 30 seconds maximum. Mm -hmm. record in horizontal mode so it should be horizontal not vertical okay and position the camera at eye level use neutral lightning and background your face and eyes are fully visible and no logos links or contact details no slideshows please no presentations okay and the content of your video introduction should be great uh, something like Hello, something. Greet your students warmly. Highlight any teaching certification that you have. Present your tutoring experience and invite students to book a trial lesson. That's that. Something like that. Hi, I'm Teacher Mary from the Philippines. Welcome to my class. Something like that. Graduate. Na, 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 na. I am a teacher. I can teach you with this. Blah blah blah. I experience teaching na, na, online and offline modality. That and. Yeah, then why not try to book a lesson in my class? See you soon. Excited to see you. Bye-bye. Something like that. <laughs> you know that already, huh? Just follow the content. It sounds like you are, oh, make an impressive video because, yeah, it's something like first thing that your students are going to see, something like your video and your heading and your description. Of course, your profile. Yeah. Right, I know you can do this. And after um, passing the video, just click start recording. Oh, by the way, here, you can start recording. If you don't like your recording, you can re-record. Okay, don't worry of that. Okay, you can retake. <laughs> don't be stressed, you can retake. After something like start recording, one, two, three, and you didn't like it, okay, re-record. And aside from that, another option you can record your video using your camera yeah camera and you can edit something it put some yeah beautification decoration something like that and download it in your youtube channel and then you can just paste the link here can you see yeah you can just put your link on your video introduction that you downloaded in your youtube channel if you have yeah two options okay either you record it something like um, impromptu impromptu record or just link your just copy paste your link from youtube channel from your youtube channel all right so click next by clicking the next you're going to be redirected to your availability so by the way you can um, the six step oh where's the six step so that would be the sixth step the sixth one i mean the sixth one is the video and the seventh one would be your availability okay this one and after um setting up your availability what time you are available what time you're going to teach 
you can submit it. And after submitting it, you're going to receive this profile submitted, review and progress. Okay, thank you for completing registration. We have received your application and are currently reviewing it. You will receive an email with the status of your application within five business days. So you're just going to wait. Okay, and don't forget that they're going to send you uh, something like confirmation. Yeah, and you need to confirm it. Open your email after this and confirm, right? And just wait for five business days. Sometimes it's something like delayed for mine. I waited for almost two weeks, but it's okay. Worth the wait. Uh -huh. So keep it up. Based on your current connection, you'll have a clear audio and video during your lesson. So that would be all. Just so easy. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell below so that you're going to be updated in our latest post. Goodbye.